What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode with the Yacht Tender Guy. It is day three of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Behind me, I have the brand new Windy SR28CC. There's a new boat to the USA market. We are debuting it here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It's been getting a lot of eyes, a lot of traction. So we're really excited about this new boat. Uh, it's gonna compete with some of the Axle Part 28s, some of the Benetos that we have, and other uh, Mediterranean style cruising center console boats that we have out there in the South Florida waters. So we're gonna go on a quick walkthrough tour. Before we do, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. It does help a lot. Now, let's go on board. So one of the key things that I want to emphasize about Windy is the quality that goes into the build of this boat. You'll notice that we do have teak flooring all around the boat, so it is optional. If you want to go with teak, you can. If you want to go with uh, regular gel coat, you can. Or if you want to do the synthetic teak uh, flooring, uh, you can as well. Notice that we have two very sizable swim platforms on both sides. This particular 28 is powered by a single Mercury 300. You can go all the way up to a 450 horsepower Mercury and the twin engine configuration with a twin Mercury 225s. Notice that we have a tow arch in the back. If you want to do some water sports, you can. The boat is very capable of it. As we walk forward, we have this hatch over here. You have access to your fuel tanks, your fuel lines, and uh, other servicing equipment that you might need. So we close this hatch. You do have a bench seat over here. Right now, we are seating facing forward. We also have this beautiful wooden table that comes with the boat. It is fully removable, so if you want to have this as open space, you can. Before we move forward, I want to show you another key feature. If you don't really want to face forward and you want to face back, you can easily move this backrest back. And now, if you're doing water sports, for instance, you're able to keep an eye out on the uh, people behind. Or if you're at the sandbar and you just want a different view, you can. Push this back underneath the table and underneath this uh, bench seat we do have a pull out refrigerator so if you want to have some nice drinks in there you can nice little storage compartment over here these two seats they do swivel around so when you have this table set in motion you can have it as a full dining experience looking over to the helm i'm going to take a seat over here and just appreciate the quality and detail that goes into this wendy they do a really good job about the quality in their boats you notice that we have a beautiful leather stitched steering wheel nice little windy logo over here we have a panel switch for our, our fresh water pumps our lighting our windless controllers as we move forward into the helm station you have your mercury vessel view system you'll notice that we have a big 12 inch garmin display we have our zip wake trim tabs bow thruster controller over here garmin controller VHF radio and your Mercury throttle controller. We're gonna head into the cabin, but before we do that, let's go and have a closer look at the bow. As we move forward, we do have two steps. So we come on board and you'll notice that we have a nice grab handle right here. So I have this and I have the rail to my right side. So it's a nice and easy walk into the bow area. Once we're over here, take a seat in this back bench over here. You'll notice it's nice and comfortable. You can easily sit two people over here. We have another beautiful wooden table, same quality as the one that we have in the back, and same quality as the one that you'll find in the Windy SR44. So the quality is top notch in these boats. You'll notice that we have standard U-shaped seating. I can lower this table all the way down and there is a filler cushion. If you wanna make this an entire sun pad, you can. Notice that when you're sitting over here in the bow area, the railing does work as arm supports. You do have big size cup holders over here, so thank you for that. I know that with these European boats, sometimes they do the small cup holders, and I truly appreciate when they put the bigger size cup holders in these European boats, because uh, you, you need a somewhere to put your Yeti cups. We have your windless controllers on both sides. Step down, step up. And then over here in this hatch, you have access to your windless and your chain. I like the way the railing is incorporated, it gives me a nice uh, swim platform if I want to go over and do some diving. This particular model 
is without the T-top. Uh, unfortunately, due to the timing of the boat show, uh, Wendy wasn't able to supply the T-top in time, but it will be available right after the show. Uh, so this boat, as it sits, it has a price tag of $241,000. If you add the T-top, you're gonna be looking at $251,000. For a 28 footer, it's not a bad price. Again, you're buying top quality. You can tell in every aspect of the boat that everything involved in it is high quality material. Now let's have a closer look at the cabin down below. All right, so we're in the cabin of the SR28TC. You'll notice it is a 28 footer, so you do have to take into consideration the size of the boat and the size of the cabin when it comes into it. I think that they've done a phenomenal job I mean, again, the quality that you see in the exterior of the boat, it's translated in the interior of the cabin. Notice over here, we have two hatches. This works as a storage compartment and you also will find your battery switches right here. Over on this side, another storage compartment. So this basically means you have a full countertop space. The bed, it's nice and comfy. I'm gonna lay with my feet facing that way. I'm pretty sure you can choose your own configuration, but to give you an idea of how spacious it is. My feet are all the way down and my head, I can st I still have probably another feet and a half. So if you're a seven foot guy, a seven foot tall guy, you pro you'd probably be okay in this bed. You can fit two people nicely. I'm gonna make my way up. You have two nightstands uh, with some storage compartment and USB uh, connections to charge your phones. Before we head out, we'll look over here into the head notice the quality of the boat again translated into the cabin i gotta emphasize it it is a 28 foot boat so you have to take into consideration that in order for them to be able to put this size of a cabin in here some of the space has to be regulated so yes i do not have that much headroom um, in this cabin itself but they're able to accommodate a bed and a bathroom as well you have a sink over here, manual flush toilet, and that's pretty much it. I like the lighting, I like the wall configuration. So that is it guys for this walkthrough of the brand new Wendy SR28TC. I'm excited about this boat. We're gonna be taking this boat out on a full water test as well as the Wendy SR44. So we'll be sure to leave those links in the description below for you to be able to see those videos. Uh, but I'm impressed, I love the quality. I think it's gonna be a cool brand to represent here in Florida and in the US. Uh, they definitely have a top quality product and I'm excited about them. So please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It does help a lot. Yacht Tender Guy, out.